Uh, listener Paul has he blew my mind this week, and and maybe just maybe he'll blow yours too. So Paul writes. You guys need Cloudflare tunnels. He says, a while back, I was fighting uh, how to do backups between Synology with hyper backup and across different networks and all of that. And he says, I ended up using zero tier, but now I know many folks use WireGuard or simply TailScale to accomplish that. And that is the, the right way to do that. If, if, if you know, creating your own private LAN that knows no boundaries is is what Tailscale does, right? It's yeah. magic. Well, now Paul has the magic for us, for the public. He says, Cloudflare Tunnels allows me to do similar things without opening up firewall ports for specific tasks or having to rely on the speed hits of other companies' servers. And he sent us a YouTube video that I've, I've linked in the show notes for us all here. What Cloudflare Tunnels does is you... Uh, you install a, a like a, a little app on one device on your network. So if you have an always on server like a Mac or a disk station or a Linux box or whatever, you install their little thing and that deals with, you know, connecting you to the outside world. Then you go and set up your tunnels and this is all free on Cloudflare. I mean, you can pay for for more, but I think you get like 50 tunnels for free or something, which for if you're doing this for your home network. And then you go to Cloudflare and you attach, you have to have a domain because it's how this works. But then you can do like, you know, I, I, do, I haven't done this, but I, I could do, you know, Synology drive.macgeekgab.com. No ports need to be added or anything. And I go put that in Cloudflare tunnels as the public address. And then I tell it, okay, point this to, you know, 192.168.1.5 on port 5001 on my local network. And when you guys or anybody visits that URL, which doesn't exist, so it's, it, it don't, try, I mean, you can try it. It's going <laughs> to fail. But if you, once you, when you visit Synology drive.macgeekup.com, if I had set up that tunnel, it would put you directly in touch with only that port on that device on my local network. So it's not like I'm exposing the device to the world, right? Uh, I don't have to do port forwarding, I don't even, it can all be on, it could be port 443 for all I care. You know, it can do HTTPS. Cloudflare handles the HTTPS for you. So it's basically being a reverse proxy, uh, but you don't even have to know what a reverse proxy is. And it just, it it does it on the, uh, and it's Cloudflare. So, you know, they, they run half the internet nowadays. And uh, so, yeah, this blew me away. It's worth watching the little video uh, to uh, to see how it works, it's like a nine minute video or whatever, and you can on YouTube, you know, you can just like with podcasts, you can watch it like one and a half speed. Highly recommend it. Uh, so there's another quick tip for you.